thought to use our ground station. So the first thing you'll want to do is uh, go to where our project uh, our code is. Okay, so it will be in source. Uh, remember, your, the dependencies that you need will be rest assured. Uh, you'll need to run. You'll need to run uh, rest assured you know, as a server because that's our DB. So for persistent data. So uh, a quick work quick workflow uh, when you go to rest assured. You'll want to run manage uh, manage the and then sync the DB. So let's run that. I will ask you if you want to create uh, an authentication system. Yeah, do you go ahead. Yes. Leaving a username blank, creating a simple password. That's created, and then I'll spawn the server by manage the py run server and you know you specify whatever. IP and port combination that you want. So let's say that, and we'll run it off port 8000. 8, Get that running. And just to make sure that uh, rest assured is running, I'll go to my browser and we'll go to you know, the URL slash GCS. And there you go, as you can see, there's no data present, and I'll count to zero. So no objects inside the database. Now, to run, uh, yeah, to make sure everything is running right, open up file image viewer to py and scroll to GCS handler and provide it the right IP. So make sure that this IP here matches the one that you just visited and the one in which uh, you're running. Uh, yeah, rest assured. And with that, let's begin. So the main code is in station the py, okay. And as you can see, it's uh, just loading up, okay. That's our ground station. Uh, here, uh, our menu bar, we have a couple of buttons. Uh, this one is to edit an image. That's to add uh, the telemetry files. That's to delete an image. That's to open up and add a couple of images. That's to upload the image. That's to sync with the database and that's to exit. So let's add a couple of images. Now we'll see inside process. So typically after after our plane uh, you know, after after mission, we'll have pictures in process. We'll select multiple and then get them get them displayed there. Okay. We'd scroll about now to mark mark a target just right click right click and inside here you could enter metadata like you know the comments by default they will provide you a location so comments will be target at six zero three five eight I'll hit save once it's unsaved you'll notice that the color is uh, the color is uh, blue to save I'll go select see uh, I'll go select that button click save and all of them will turn green and just to verify that our data is in we'll go in here into GCS slash marker handler and as you can see I entered target at uh, 6350 okay also add in here uh, comments let's see auxiliary target all right I'll hit save or so it's uh, control s or that upload button go here reload as you can see it saved it here auxiliary target and just for uh, verification I'll go to sorting by last time edit Make that reverse. Okay, as you can see, that was the last item I last edited. Right there. Now we'll go to uh, we'll do simple. Uh, sure. We'll call it syncing. Okay. So this is this is to mirror uh, running two different ground stations running. So, Run station. 
As you can see, I'm starting up another ground station. Just hold up. Uh, as you can see right here, now I'll enter symbolic, hit save, right? Save that to the DB. And now here, now uh, I'll go sync from the cloud using that button. Hit that. Symbolic. Symbolic. And as you can see, it appeared now in uh, the auxiliary database. And as, uh, for your convenience, I could move the markers around here. Cancel. Cancel that. Uh, now to delete your marker, it 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 requires uh, yeah. left and right click. My 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 keyboard is uh, rather my my trackpad is trippy, so I don't have that functionality. But I welcome you to try it out. Um, and then, so remember, we're going through a complete workflow, right? So that was an image that hadn't been saved. Now, when I again, so I'll do a quick save. Okay. Now I'll try to edit the attributes of this image, and I'll hit uh, that button in the extreme yeah, left of your toolbar. As you can see, there's altitude, UTM north, time, course, view angle, horizontal, author, image width, all that, right? And as you can see, uh, some of these fields aren't filled, but that data was the telemetry data was captured uh, by the drone. And to add it, I'll go to the second leftmost button, I'll click on it. It will take me to a directory, so info. Now, the cool thing is you could add multiple files. Uh, just 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 find which one matches up to up to what. So that's 5 to JPG and so we'll go to 5 to TXT. Once I hit that and open it, now when I when I go into editing, as you can see these fields are now filled up, right? Phi is filled up, theta, UTM, east. Uh, pixel per meter that we do not have and once I hit save it will get uh, synced to the database and right here if I if I go and find image handlers and I'll just cut down and format is equal to short that's to take out you know the unnecessary foreign keys that were passed in as you could see uh, yeah information got set and yeah uh, basically this is what it is and let's see deleting of images so I'll hit delete takes it out scroll to the very top delete and if we go in here as you could see we deleted all remember we had sync two of them just keep deleting yeah and there we go. Back to how fresh war. And with that quick demo, I wish you guys good luck in the competition. And as always, I'm willing to help to help out. And let's make this let's make